and a top secret mission looking for wild hemp in Oklahoma. The location so secret we had to agree not to divulge where it is. It's just one spot across the state. Researchers are testing these plants. Down a red dirt road. An undisclosed location um, somewhere in uh, northern Oklahoma. By an old abandoned building. Fields of wild hemp growing in Oklahoma. Oklahoma has been uh, a staple for industrial hemp production or was known as at one time um, as being a leading producer in industrial hemp in America. That history now pulled to the forefront. We have multiple sites um, in every region of Oklahoma that we will be acquiring genetics for farmers in those regions next spring. Hempire Genetics, researching for Oklahoma's future. To be able to get the proper genetics to the farmers that will be the most valuable to them as this market commoditizes. The company sampling our state's wild hemp grows, identifying which strains are thriving. It's an initiative through Northwestern Oklahoma State University. It all started here earlier this year when lawmakers passed House Bill 2913. It allows Oklahoma farmers working with universities to grow industrial hemp for research and development. For Oklahoma to be at the forefront of hemp production as the industry begins to commoditize what uh, was once uh, the most valuable cash crop in America. From food to biofuel, even plastics, the hemp industry keeps growing. Although hemp looks like marijuana, it has trace amounts of THC, the chemical compound that gets you high. Northwestern Oklahoma State University told KOCO their goal to give local farmers a possible crop alternative. They want to develop a seed variety that will work best with our growing conditions. So instead of wild grows like this, Oklahoma could soon see more hemp cultivated by farmers. And an independent lab tested what hemp iron genetics found. All of it had just trace amounts of THC and passed as hemp, not marijuana.